Well, hundreds of people are gathering together from across the state to participate in Oregon's first summit on wildfire recovery. This is more than three years after the devastating Labor Day fires of 2020. Lane County and the University of Oregon are hosting a two day event to discuss how recovery efforts have been and what more needs to be done. KEZI 9 News reporter Jennifer Singh shows us what the summit entails and the U of O's role in tonight's Firewatch coverage. The Labor Day wildfires of 2020 devastated communities across the state of Oregon. As Oregon heads into the fourth year of recovery, leaders, managers, and policymakers from across the state are gathering at the Ford Alumni Center to discuss progress and what more needs to be done. The impetus of this is to capture the things that they have learned in over the last three years so that we can make the next recovery work that much better. Officials with Lane County tell me their partnership with the UO allows for a better perspective on how to recover from such devastating natural disasters. The, the focus of the university is to shape the minds of the future. And, and our job in Lane County and cities and counties across the state is to solve the challenges that, we're, that our communities are facing that day. But the, the opportunity to bring in those young minds and the faculty and staff that are connected with those young minds to really identify innovative and creative solutions to these challenges opens up a whole another opportunity of, of possibility um, for us. So we're really excited about that. Benjamin Clark with the University of Oregon School of Planning, Public Policy and Management tells me the ultimate goal is to understand what the barriers to recovery have been, how they can remove those barriers and how to change policy to make recovery happen more smoothly and quickly. Because it's not a matter of if there will be more wildfires in the future, it's a matter of when they will happen next. Make sure that the experience that folks have had that has been traumatic, right? That next time, because there will be a next time with climate change inducing fires happening more frequently and more severe, uh, that it's not as bad, right? We can't stop all of that pain from happening, but we can try and do what we can to make it better. In Eugene, Jennifer Singh, KEZI 9 News.